right. Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the EgoBite 83 channel where the past never dies. I am, of course, your host, EgoBite, and tonight we continue in Red Dead Redemption 2. I feel like we're going to be doing uh, the lobby mission for those engines first. Um, I feel like we uh, can step it up a little bit with the uh, uh, main missions um, to sort of pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, sorry for starting so late. I was actually uh, keeping track of an ice hockey game in which my beloved Yuri Gordon took on Modo from the north. And uh, we won. Of course. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. So... Uh, All right, let's do this. I almost had an epiphany, you know. I mean, when I've been doing, you know, like turning in the stool sample and talking to my doctor about, you know, the issue. Um, there's always it's always been there in the back of my head, you know. What if it's some, something serious? So I almost had an epiphany that you know what? Maybe we shouldn't hold up with like you know games that I like that I want to beat. You know, maybe we shouldn't run around doing side missions. Maybe we should focus a little bit more on main missions. You were just standing here, okay, all right. Um... But... Thing is... Um... I mentioned to you about... For fuck's sake... I don't know where you actually go walk over to the Oh, sorry. Uh, I did mention to you about the issue. The rectal hemoglobin issue, if you know what I mean. Now, having said that, today when I defecated and was supposed to like, you know, get a sample from that and turn it into the doctor. Um, I actually did not bleed. There was no blood this time. And I mean, when that happens, whenever that happens, you feel good, you know? So... Yeah, and then I've been talking to my mother and a couple of other people who've been through this, you know, had some issues, and uh, they told me a little bit about how it all goes down when you do it, when you do the uh, the exams, the the uh, when the doctor does the examination. Let's see here. No, we're actually supposed to be able to get the map up like immediately, I think. You okay, boy? If I remember correctly. No, that's camera control. Uh 
No. Damn. No, I don't need a temporary horse. That's how you do it. You hold. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's go for that one. what you do. Come on! Well, what the fuck? Jesus. Out of the way! What is your problem? Why can I? Sometimes you can hitch, and some sometimes you can't. That is actually kind of annoying, I have to say. Good evening. Well, uh, good evening to you too. Alright, I'll hitch my horse over here, I guess. Oh, I didn't even see anybody there. It's so dark. Alright, let's talk to you guys. I mean, I don't have... I need... I would like for it to be a little bit... Lighter. Or brighter. You're standing here like in the middle of the darkness. Hey, party! Whoa, farty? I thought you were working today. How are you, man? Welcome back. Honey Ego, how was your extent existence this night? Oh. Same old, same old. There it is. No, I didn't get it. Like, didn't you say you were going to be gone today? But welcome back. Alright, let's talk to these guys. No, in, not that guy. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train. Crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. All right. And at the party, you were upstairs. 
Well, you have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports oh. with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. Uh, let me just see what you're writing here. Um, I believe it refers to mean, meaning forties and all in my existence. I was too... <clears throat> excuse me. I was too tired and run down to go to work today. It's a physical job, so dizzy and tired doesn't help my job. Well, absolutely. And you know what? The more you stay here with us, the merrier, you know? You're always welcome back. Um, have you tried doing your job with only half a functional brain at a time? We can pseudo do that if you get into that one. And their elder goes, like, he goes into his own thing there. <laughs> so, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request. <clears throat> We're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Ah, that's the magic word. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. I wonder, like, why, if he just... If that's such a bother to him that he has a price on his head and stuff like that, why, why doesn't he just stop doing crime you know like i mean it sounds easy of course there's probably a lot to it but like he keeps ending up even though he's try, he says like no you know we're not gonna do this anymore we we need to like you know lay low and whatever <clears throat> but 45 minute drive while dizzy is tricky i have done it goofied up before yeah don't do that, fart knocker. Okay, you you need to you need to take care. All right, take you know rest. Your health comes first, as I have been told recently um, a couple of times. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. If the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Okay. Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Again. Okay, so we're going back to New Hanover. Once again, I have a price on my head. $175 or something, which is a lot back then. It's all autopilot. Citadel Rock, yeah. 
I'm supposed to be here somewhere. This is uh, Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar. So... Okay. Not quite sure. I'm, we're probably... Did he say that we were supposed to wait like two days or one day or something like that? Because there's no... There's nothing here right now. I suppose we can do something else in the meanwhile. What is this? This is kind of close. Morning to you, okay, ow, 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 ow. Sure was quick. You okay, bud? Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Okay. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? <laughs> no. No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, Bobby. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Big Nuts. Uh, my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, <Enchanté. laughs> <laughs> uh, Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite okay can I just say the fact that in every freaking Rockstar game usually Grand Theft Auto there's always a remote controlled section where you're doing the remote controlled car or the remote controlled plane and what do we have here a remote controlled boat I don't know it's it, it's too, this is too this they're really like recycling their tropes here the inside all of us we feel old cuz it's cool <laughs> you you are old oh. but maybe i can make you immortal <laughs> using waves you cannot see i will power oh i know who this is supposed to be a parody of he even looks like him, and he uses, like, electricity and, like, radio waves. This is supposed to be a parody of Nikola Tesla, of course, of course. Or this You're a goddamn fraud, and this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watched them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, <laughs> show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. 
check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and uh, don't touch that. Use these okay. ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Aim. Yes, now, oh, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. How do I? Oh. Okay. If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius. And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Okay. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I know. Groundbreaking ammo reserves, yeah. Another one down. I'm getting the mastery of this. Show them one more to prove. Kind of cool. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Oh. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to raise Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. This thing is making great. Navy man the telegraph machine. Yeah. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. The gurus of seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Full proof. Undeniably full proof. Yeah, I... I that that little rowboat with people in it was obviously like a like an extra obstacle. I wonder what would happen what would have happened if we actually went for them. But if we would have failed the mission or something. And unlike fools, mm. not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. <laughs> no, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Huh? Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> and I hope you will forgive my uh, European coarseness. In the Balkans, uh, we are a mannerless people, but 
we work hard. <laughs> now, let me go over the investment with you once more. It would have been kind of easy to hit it. It was the biggest thing on the water. No. It is for humanity itself. You see... You see, I have now illustrated just a small sliver of the miracles I can enact on this earth. If you will help me... Yes. ...not stab me in the ass like the other Americans... Wait, what? All of you goddamn traitors! None of you has the wisdom to invest in my genius! Genius! Really? You're fools. Seriously, though? Would they just leave after having seen that? That's like groundbreaking technology at that time. I, I don't get it. Like, what, what the hell? What did they leave for? If you want to continue this conversation, we will do it at my lab, Dover Hill. Anything else I can help you with? No, no, you've done quite enough. Now you can leave me alone. All right. Oh yeah, this guy. Get over here. Oh, is this supposed to be like Thomas Edison? Or a parody of him and he's gonna steal his ideas? Obviously. Maybe I should shoot him. <laughs> hey, boy. All right. Let's see. Do we all re do we have? Uh... Yes. There it is. Okay. Let's go. Let's go there and keep. Keep going with the main mission. Morning. Uh, look out! Sake. Yeah, look out. This is so convenient with the with the freaking autopilot. The fact that you can just, you know, go into cinematic mode. As long as you put down a waypoint, just keep your horse running by spamming X and he'll find the road on his own, you know? It's really nice. You don't have to do anything else. So, guys. How are you doing today? Farty, how are you feeling? I know you said you were tired, but are you feeling, like, a bit better or something, like, in regards to your, um, you being at home? Just tired? Okay, good, good, good. Well, I'm happy to hear that you're recovered. That's, that's good to hear. Yeah. Shit, there's a freaking storm going on here. And yeah, I know you exist, Elder. Um, yeah. A, there's actually a long journey ahead of us because we're leaving. We're supposed to go into the next state over. So, yeah. Ugh. Oh, good lord. <sighs> what day is it today? It's Wednesday. What do you think, Farty? Are you going to be uh, back at work tomorrow?
that is the plan. All right. Good, 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 good. Have you have you missed work? Oh, you're working on it. Yeah, I got you. Why would I miss work? <laughs> hey, I don't know. There are those people who actually love their job and they actually can't bear being away from it. I have never been in that position, but I felt like I wanted to ask you nevertheless. Um... I've never really been passionate about any uh, any job that I've had before. Well, okay, maybe when I was uh, um, an organizational assistant and I was actually doing a lot, um, I was setting up projects, I was doing uh, pamphlets, I was printing, designing and printing. Uh, leaflets, uh, yeah, not pamphlets, leaflets, and I, wa what the hell else did I do? Oh yeah, I did a lot of, uh, video recording and, uh, and, uh, put up a lot of videos on YouTube that were in the interest of the community, like, uh, a non-profit organization which I sort of worked for. That was fun, because I got to do a lot... Um, like, I, uh, I, to, I got to do a lot what I wanted. Like, uh, um, I got to set my own hours as well. That was like the best job I've probably had so far. Everything else has been very corporate, very profit-minded, very strict, you need to do this, you need to be there this time, you need to da 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 And that's... Yeah, that's too... That's so wage slave, you know? It's perfectly fine, uh, like an honest job for, uh, like, you know, but from, like, it... Eh. I need something that drives me. I need passion, you know. I've been in warehouses, I've been in I've been a postal worker, I've been in a library. Granted the library was actually not that bad. The library was uh pretty easy going. Sorry man, I don't have time right now. All right, we're almost there. No, we are actually there. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it. I need to uh, eat. Dead eye chewing tobacco. No, no. Um. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Perfect. And let's brush you a little bit. Uh, 
let's get you looking nice. And what else? Feed. Here you go, boy. Uh, celery. And maybe paddle a little bit. You okay, boy? And also lead. Sir Kane, said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Okay, so we can crawl under the fence or jump into a wagon. I feel jumping into a wagon is probably more risky, but it's probably also the more fun way to do it, because crawling under the fence is just, you know, crawling under the fence. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. God, everything turned really dark now. I remember this place. I had a hell of a time getting in and getting a wagon from from this place. Hey, Pick it up. Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Should be on the other, on the upper floor. So let's see if we can get in up here. Nope. Okay. Let's see if we can go this way. Oh, 
Oh, uh, because they saw me through the windows. Right, he did say that. Yeah, okay, okay, gotcha. Alright, alright. I'm wasted. <laughs> <clears throat> if you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. I know. Unfortunately, there is no way to speed up this process, so... It's like the wagon ride in the beginning of Skyrim, you know? You can't skip it. You have to go through it every single time. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on, then. I can't believe he didn't see me there. Jesus, alright. I think the cone, like, slightly touched, you know? Alright, I'm gonna start loading up. Alright, let's do this again, but let's try to not drop down there. Or maybe... I don't know. Maybe we are supposed to go in through the first floor. I don't know. <gasps> yeah, most certainly. Let's see. Where is the freaking staircase that can take me up there? Your dreams light. You know what? It's so strange. Because I've seen other writing in, in other drawers as well. What do they all mean? Is it like something that Rockstar wants you to put together? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. That was okay. Off the alarm some somehow. You 
must be Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. Just say that you don't know. Hey, party, here's your mindless violence. <laughs> I don't think he knows anything. I can't threaten him anymore. Alright, never mind. This was... Oh, I thought... Oh, I thought he was gonna have a chance to, like, answer. Yeah, well, that's kind of the same thing. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, they'll fire you no. for this. Danbury. Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Head office. <laughs> yeah, head office personnel leave by the window. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Wait, how the fuck did you go into fucking hell? Oh, right, 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 right. No, wait. Wait, how do you go into Deadeye? Honestly, I hate the Deadeye. Con uh, the Deadeye mechanic in this game. It was a lot better in Red Dead Redemption 1. Because here, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it's like very off. It's like, I really don't like it. Um, let's see. Deadeye. Deadeye is a special ability that you can use by pressing R3 while aiming a gun or bow. Alright. Move the time and press... R1 to mark your targets, then press R2 to fire. Okay. No. Just, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. Okay, slight correction, I might not actually dislike Deadeye that much, but it's just that I rarely use it that much, so I keep forgetting how to use, how to use it properly. But I have been confused. I, it all harkens back to how annoying some of these, some of the tutorials were. Yeah. Oh shit. Where? Ah. Where is he? I'm in the farm. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Go. 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 Obviously, they're going to be following. They're coming after. 
no, really. Mr. Danbury? Yes, oh. don't worry, he was very obliged. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. think we made nice with the uh, Native Americans, but no, not help. Jeez. Let's see. Oh, we're conveniently close to another stranger here. Interesting. Okay. Oh, they, they sure turned out, they, 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 sh <laughs> they sure put out that fire quickly. Familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge. Kindness. Beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, <clears throat> let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I mean, what's in it for me? I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Well, the uh, sun is not out right now. <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> uh, do I already have them? Wait... Uh, Yarrow. Yeah, I do. I got sage. I got ginseng. I got Indian tobacco. I got wild mint, oregano, coffee, violet snowdrop, currant, and common bulrush. All right. Cool. All right. 
dude. Give plants. I knew I saved some of them for for a purpose, you know. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, he's gonna eat something poisonous in the end Ooh, and die. Yeah. That's not a good thing. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. Okay. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Okay. Save Take it for it. bad injuries. Heaven okay. forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. <laughs> well, that was easy. Okay. Where's the freaking owl? Uh, okay, I can't pick that. That's actually very prickly, <laughs> apparently. Come on now, boy. Alright, well, there's still... Yeah, let me see. They're in lockdown, right? Oh, no, they're not. Oh, but there are... Ah, there are bounty hunters down, down there. I see them. Okay. Let's see if we can go back home. Uh, yes. Saturn Lonnie. Everything is locked right now. I don't really know why it's locked, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Okay, I actually don't even have to go down that way. I can just go this way. This is a perfect way to break your horse's leg. You know? be there by dawn or by daylight I mean mm -hmm. so what are you doing El elder and farty what are you doing right now I imagine you guys do are doing something else while lurking. Well, you're playing lol. I didn't take you for a lol player. Relaxing and playing some backpack hero. What is backpack hero? Stop. Yeah. 
Yeah. I wonder if they were... No. I don't think they were bounty hunters. Because I don't think... I, no. I'm not in New Hanover anymore. They were Lemoyne Raiders. Of course they were. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, get up. Easy. Wait. Oh shit, I don't have any more for the uh for the uh pistol. Hmm. Uh I should probably equip uh, a rifle instead. Long arm, shoulder, long arm, back. Long arm, shoulder. Uh, carbine repeater. Ooh. Springfield rifle. Springfield rifle is like the the most powerful rifle, at least that I've seen. Uh, bolt action rifle is a little. Yeah. Okay. Um, item organizing roguelike. Okay, can somebody please tell me what the category roguelike is? What is roguelike? I've heard that so many times now. Is that like a... Is that a genre of a, of a game? I mean, obviously, but like, what does it mean? Simply playing LOL doesn't say much about a player. Eh. Yep. That depends. Roguelike. So when you say roguelike, does that mean when does when was that term coined? I've never heard it. Well, I have heard it, but I heard it like very recently. So I'm still saying like I've never heard it before. Does it mean like, you know, like fantasy adventures, like Dungeons and Dragons, or something like that? Because that's what I equate with, like rogue, you know, a class and in D and D type of games. Oh, what was that? He dropped down from a from a tree into the wagon, and then okay. I'll say this, the first time I heard that term was when I was browsing games on Steam. It just showed up, like, action, adventure, roguelike. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know? Uh, you go from point A to point B on a map with multiple paths. When you die, you reset at beginning. Each run has randomness to it to keep come back, coming back for more. Oh! That sounds like FTL. No, prisoner. I've heard you several times now. I'm not gonna help you. Yeah, I know. That was that was what I was talking about. Yeah. Is that well? What's so roguelike about that? What does that mean? Like, why is it called roguelike? Would it be better to call it something like Split Path, or something? Oh, it is a roguelike. What, 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 oh, I don't like that term. It's a stupid term. Why is it called roguelike? Uh, excuse me.
Um. Uh. Shire. This belongs to someone, actually. It's a named horse. Uh. Hmm. I don't know, man. It's what it's called. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird. It's like, it's like me categorizing a dungeon crawler and calling it cheese. Like it, it has nothing to do with the, with the freaking genre. And why is this horse standing like this? This is making me annoyed. <laughs> like. Jesus. Vogue-like. Like, honestly, I'm taking offense to that. <laughs> I don't know why. I have too much energy on my hands. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's talk to Sadie. Young man. Uh, concurrent variants, though the term roguelike derives from the 1980 game Rogue. The first known game with the core roguelike gameplay elements was Beneath Apple Manor, 1978, written by Donworth for the Apple II. Beneath Apple Manor is also recognized as the first commercial roguelike game. So the 1980s game Rogue is the game I need to look up to see what... Okay. Then I have to ask, why haven't I heard of this until now? I mean, you can make all kinds of jokes about, oh, keeping up with the times, but apparently this has been around since the 1980s. I've never heard of this. Yeah, well, there you go, there you go, yeah, of course. But you know what I mean, like, nobody has said roguelike before. Like, in, like, you know, YouTube videos, E3, nobody has ever mentioned roguelike. And uh, the first time I saw it was Steam, just a couple of weeks ago. No, they haven't. They haven't. In that case, I have just missed it for, like, the entire 40-year-long life of mine. And I don't... I, th I think that's a very unlikely happenstance. All right, let's see. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a <clears throat> piece since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, la -dee -da. Seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. No oh, shit. Well. I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now. The Sally bus station. Oh, right. Right. I went down there. I took a look at it. Trolley bus station. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. What is that? Whoa. Oh, it's here! Oh, 
Oh my god! Look, they have a tree line. Everybody take cover! The risk of wars are coming! That was Kieran. I wondered. Remember, I told you guys last yesterday. Like, I wonder where Kieran's gone off to. Oh my God! Let's go around Rogue Links here. Yeah, I never, I never saw that or heard that. Weird. Um, no, you know what? Use this sprinkler rifle. Yeah, there we go. Women and children inside. Thank you. Hold your ground. But they need help. Get down. Oh my God. Arthur, we need your gun down there. Arthur, now. Well, I mean, okay, all right, fine. Damn crap. Come on, damn Driscoll. What's happening, Driscoll? Get upstairs. Hold it here. Stay away from the window. Get inside, fast. Come on, quick. Don't let any... Supposed to fall back, okay. Oh shit. I didn't even know I was like low on my health. Oh, okay. You didn't retreat. Fine. I'll do what they say. Have you played those game before games before? No, I have never heard of them. What <laughs> God's name is going on? We're overrun. Just Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Push. like the Springfield rifle because even though it has a very long r rate of fire because you have to like reload for every shot if you get one shot in even like in the knee or in the foot or something they die you know <laughs> Four. I don't know. I think. just reload Never taking that O'Driscoll in. Sadie, I gotta go help her. Cover me. I found me one that way. Jump through the window, okay. Get out there, she's in trouble. Hold on, girl. There you go. Sadie? Sadie! Oh. 
Oh, okay. I actually missed. Sadie. <laughs> Sadie. Oh my God. Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh no, they don't. Well, I've been telling you that. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Well, are you moving? Jesus. Cowards! We okay? How many Odriscoll's so. are there? I think I've shot That's like a hundred. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson. Could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Okay. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. Oh, did he? She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Oh yeah, we need to shave a little bit, I think. Mission complete. Horseman Apocalypse. Morning. Okay. We're still here, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. You can. He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. I don't she even remember the that. Bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Morning to you. What's over here, by the way? Morning to you. Give oh. So I got a hold of some ginseng. Ah, perfect. Oh. I'll make some of that tonic for you. Nice. That that's the first time I've actually been able to give something for for a very long time, if ever. I don't even remember if I've 
I'm getting tired of these old Driscolls now. Me too. This feud has gone on long enough. Hi, Reverend. Miss Mary Beth. Yeah. Yeah, where the fuck were you? You okay, Uncle? I'm keeping my head, which is more than we can say for Kieran. Straight in there with the jokes, huh? Yeah, too soon, man. Too soon. I wonder where they buried Sean, by the way. Let's see what this day brings. You doing all right, Abigail? I still can't believe that happened to Karen. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can shave. Oh, we're supposed to be able to do that here. Ah, there you go. Yeah, let's try to keep that suave look, that, you know, that fresh, uh, oh, wait, we can't, we can trim, oh, he's starting to look really old, <laughs> really gray, uh, what was it I used to have it at? Wait, that's that's still not clean shaven. But yeah, okay. Okay. What did we have? We had no mustache, no chin, and very like surface chops. Actually, we can just get rid of everything here. Yeah, okay. It's gonna grow anyway. First bank newspaper. Newspaper scrap. Oh, that's right. We had gotten a letter, right? Famous on a. Oh yeah, there is a letter for us out here. Let's see. I saw the symbol. Or maybe not. I saw a letter before. I even saw the letter on the minimap. Was it because we were in the room? Or did I confuse it with something? I don't know. God damn it, there was a letter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's reload. Reload. We need, uh, we need a lot of ammo here. Rifle. We need rifle. Rifle cartridges. That's not rifle, but, yeah. There we go. 
Take it, take it, take it. Very nice. Stock up. Stock up. What was that? Arrows. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> I'll take some arrows, too. My lady. Arthur. No, I see. There's a... There's... I can s clearly see it now. On the minimap. There's a freaking... There's a freaking letter. But it doesn't show up here. Why doesn't it show up here? Poker. Horse station. Arthur's horse. Okay. Hang on. Wait a minute. And now it disappeared. What? What is going on here? There's nothing here, right? Jose and Bessie. Oh, this is Jose's room? Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Do I have a letter like somewhere? Ah! I have a letter waiting at the post office. I can also go to Saint Denis. Let's go to Saint Saint Denis and and uh, see what that letter says because I'm curious. Yeah, we have a we have a letter waiting because we got more missions to do in uh, Saint Denis as well. Easy killer. That's rich from you. Back here and tried to turn on us. Hmm? I don't think so. That was me thinking we were a step ahead of the O'Driscolls. I was almost starting to like that Kieran. And he saved your life. I know. So, no more Kieran. No. I was just starting to like him too. I know. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. Well, I mean, apparently. Come here, Arthur. Is that food nearly ready? You all right? It'll be ready. Yeah. Ready. That was quite a mess to clean up. <laughs> In every sense. What do you want, Micah? Rob a stagecoach. No, I have... I'm busy. Yep. Let's go. This might, uh, this might be the last mission for tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whose horse is this? Old boy. Yeah, okay, he's owned by someone. Alright, never mind then. Oh, okay. 
We'll go check the... the fuck was that? There was something in the woods here... Let's pretend we didn't hear that. <laughs> Horrible people. So how's it going in uh, Backpacker Hero? I'm also surprised that Elder didn't come up with a pun for Kieran's situation. <laughs> Playing the music of my peoples, okay? What does that mean? Okay, kind of winning. Ah, oh, gotcha. <laughs> Playing the musics of my people. Gatorfeld, Swamps. Sound like something growling. I think that was a gator. Ain't been too many Federals coming through. But I got some horse sense. Alright. for the blind. Um, uh, not right now. Let's see if the racist is still there. I want to hear... I want to see if he's still there. It could have just been a glitch that actually made him appear yesterday, because... As far as I know, we we were supposed to have scared him away last... when we actually talked to him. There we go. Let's see. Well, he's not here now, but actually, he might actually show up hey there, during specific times of day. I realized that when when uh, um, I was thinking about uh, how uh, the uh, Native American, the um, eagle flies, did not appear when we were there too early. Wait, what is that? That is Dutch Vanderland. Okay, so this is the bus. Dutch has been investigating the trolley station tip from Bronte. Okay. And that is the poker poker thing on the riverboat. That could also be kind of a cool thing to do. All right, let's check the mail here. What can I yep. do for you? Uh, I do believe I have some uh, mail. Invitation from Mayor Lemieux. Lemieux arrived today. Okay. An invitation. Interesting. No, no, not the journal. <laughs> yeah. 
invitation. You have no pe pending invites. Really? Okay. I suppose you're just supposed to go to the Satchel to check it out. List of debtors. With recent horse card. Okay. Notes, cigarette cards, drawings, handbills, cigarette cards. Again. Recipe fat pamphlets, letters. Letters, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, we haven't actually checked out the letters that we've gotten. Oh. Well, look at this. We even have a letter from Mary that we haven't checked out. Lemoyne Raiders. William Marcus Hansen. I'm writing you against the Jayhawkers in Lawrence, Kansas have been successful there, so yada yada yada. Okay, now... <sighs> Mining company, oil company. Invitation. Matty, welcome back. How are you, good sir? Nice to see you, man. How you doing? Letter from Mary. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get get it right. It's me. You know, it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when last we spoke. And I was going to off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. Oh, your face is hurty. Are you, is it the, uh, surgery, is it the, uh, anesthesia, like, letting go now? So you're actually... Feeling the pain now? I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I'm here now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. You could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. I think, though, we already have done this. This I did this a long time ago, like before we even streamed this. Uh, it's sore, but not too bad. Better than the tooth pain. Okay, well, at least you stepped down in the pain scale, you know. Uh, here we go. May 1899. Monsieur Kilgore. It was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You met you meet so many people at these kinds of functions, it is hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now, I have been spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly, but just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Perhaps your gung-ho frontier spirit and my old, my cold old world cynicism could work quite well together. Uh, indulge me in a meeting at least. Come back to the ranch, no, come back, come to the back of the mayoral residence any night you wish. Knock on the door and my assistant Jean-Marc will let you in. I hope you see I hope to see you soon, your newest friend. Henri Lemieux Lemieux. Alright. Well that's good to know. How are you? Hello. 
Okay, so I'm, I take it we can't go there now because it's not night. We're very close to the um, mission for the uh, bus, the trolley bus robbery. And I'm thinking either either we rob the trolley or we do the uh, poker game on the riverboat. I mean, we also have this Algernon. Okay, let's go to this guy and see what he wants. Because that was a strange guy. Why not? I mean, it's not that much time left. I'm going to uh, wrap it up pretty quickly soon. I already talked about doing that. Let me just get the time real quick. I'm already at one hour forty-two minutes, so yeah, this should be this should be um, adequate. Let's do this uh, stranger stranger thing, Mister. Nice, nice, yeah. Honestly, Farty, if you feel like, you know, hey, move. take a, if you want to take a break from work tomorrow as well, you know, that's that would be totally fine with us. We, we'd love to have you here as a, 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 our guest again. How do you do? <laughs> I'm just saying. Whoa, 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 What's your problem? Clear the way now, here. Problem is, they haven't installed brakes on this model yet. Riding in this big city, it's like, you have to be a little bit, you have to be slower than usual, otherwise you tend to overshoot. Ooh, you know, barber, barber, barber. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, um... Let me get a, uh, make sure that my hair is... Oof, Jesus! <laughs> Not gonna lie, that scared the bejesus out of me. Fucking hell. Okay, um... Yeah, just... So what'll it be today? Uh... Just... Let's see... Can you... What can you do with... Uh... Yeah, okay. Full styles. Yeah, I can't do anything because I don't have any hair there. Kind of, apparently. Even though it looks like I have, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that is a good like one. Like I always say, your hair is your first impression. Yeah, that should be. Why not? That's a little bit too short. Maybe there. Yeah, go with that. Oh, there we go. Better. Alright. How do Please. you do, sir? Tell your friends about it. <laughs> yeah, Richard. sure. Let's just uh, try to not rest. What do you mean, rest? No, I don't need to rest like that here in, in the middle of town. All right, Algernon Wasp, wherever you are. Oh wait, wasn't he the guy that I actually saved the life of when he got when he started choking at the party and I smacked the back? I smacked him on the back and it was like he coughed up something. I 
think so. Howdy. Let's see what he wants. Ooh, my back. This is a stage coach. Bonjour, Monsieur. Ma'am. Algernon Wasp. Did you know? Oh, is he? Wait. Oh, he's in. He's in there, apparently. Let's remove the uh, waypoint. No. Let's remove the waypoint. Thank you. Not that you really need to new do that, though, but. Uh... Algern oh, he's got his own place here. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exquisite. Okay. Oh, this looks kind of cozy and cute, I guess. One moment, please. A lot of plants. This is extremely delicate. Uh huh. Are you supposed to interrupt him? No. I'm going to I'm going to actually take my time and just see if he like, you know. Okay, yeah, I I guess you're supposed to interrupt him. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Oh, okay. May I help you? Well, uh, I don't know. I met you, remember? At that party? Oh, yes. You saved my life. Oh, I am eternally yours, Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. <clears throat> Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Uh, How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not... Really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always <laughs> wear one. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> An artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Oh, yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. I know, right? You're an adventurer. Oh, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need <coughs> 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. 
Oh, so uh, find all the items. Algernon requested them. Okay, so this is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So this is kind of like what that hippie out in the desert wanted as well. It's it's practically the, the exact same thing. <gasps> Hello, sir. Uh, five little egret plumes, five reddish. E yeah, okay. Now this will probably I will probably never really go do all of this unless I like you know collect them as I play, but. I feel like we have more important stuff to do than this. Uh, but it was worth checking out, regardless. You never know what these stranger missions will bring you, you know? Oh, ow, ow. Okay. Let's see, do we have time for something else as well? Maybe, kinda. Oh, wait, no, he's not there. Uh, it's probably the wrong time of day. I was thinking about Albert Mason up there. That thing. What's this? Jer break into Jeremiah Compson's house and recover his possessions. The iniquities of history. I don't even know where... Who gave us this... Mission. That's... Weird. But now, yeah, he just want to want me to collect for him. Honestly, let's do this one and and just see what this gives me. Because I don't even know when we got this mission and or who gave it to us and why we're doing this. This will this will wrap up tonight's stream, I think. Oh, what? The <laughs> we just ran him over, like, uh, like, what? You could have like sidestepped. Or to be fair, my AI could also have sidestepped, but none, both refused to move. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, it's you. <sighs> Come here, please. No, prisoner. You're wasting time I don't have. You're wasting time I don't have. Thanks for nothing. I can't, I think I've heard that five times now. I think we should probably help him next time because He's just going to keep turning up again and again and again. I think it's scripted for him to turn up after we save him the first time. And eventually it's going to get on our nerves, you know. Medi, what are you doing? My boy. Oh, it's midnight, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> oh, good lord. How many missions did we do tonight? How many we main missions? Fucking hell.
good. Because I wanted to loot these fuckers. They're not causing me trouble without me actually taking advantage of the situation. No sorry. You better believe I'm gonna be looting these shagos. Hey, if they cause me that much trouble, the least I can do is, like, you know. Oh, consume yellow tonics to fortify your bars. Yeah, yada, 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 yada. Uh, yada. Yellow tonics, fortify the bar down there. Sure, I mean, that's not a yellow one, but... I got. I want to kind of feel like I want to get rid of all of those that are already opened. I'm sick of those. <laughs> kind of happy this isn't Day Z. That would, like, fill my stomach up. Uh, what was that? Consuming this will give you health experience. Health experience? Really? Okay. No, really, I got health experience. Whatever that means. Um... Level up your HP. Really? Well then. Bottoms up. Why isn't he... Why isn't he drinking them? Like a heart container. I don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know if... That's actually what happening here. I, I don't know. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink all of those that are, like, opened, so I can get rid of that. Uh, dead eye experience. Okay. Oh yeah, it actually increases the uh yeah, the the little circle bar, you see? You were actually right there. Yeah, that's true. Let's see if I have anything else that is unopened. Oh yeah. Cocaine gum. Opened co cocaine gum will restore. Yeah, sure. Go for it. There we go. We got we ate some cocaine gum, or we chewed some... <laughs> it's ridiculous. Cocaine gum. I wonder how much that that is, you know? Or was. Now this here, sir, that's five dollars. Might be a little bit expensive for this here cocaine, but trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> you know? Nope, stop that. Open. Sure. I think I'm actually... Yeah, there are no opened bottles anymore. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah. 
All right, one final mission for today, and then we are saying goodnight. Holy shit, I need to clean up this place, by the way. I got a few I got a couple of days before the big party, but yeah. I need a vacuum. I need to put away stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to clean, definitely. Especially if I'm gonna have like people here. Well, it's a really dark now. I wonder if this is the best time to do this mission. There it is. Stopped short just of the hitching post. That annoys me to no end. Haha! -ha. I guess you could do that. <laughs> okay, there's a note here. By order of judge, uh, uh, repossession order. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Okay. So that means that this doesn't. Um, this place doesn't belong to the original resident. It actually is government property now. Or at least, no, it belongs to the bank, but, you know, same shit. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can break in here somehow. I don't suppose there's an open window anywhere. Open channel. Oh, maybe on the back. Oh yeah, it's the same here, okay. Oh! Ranger, watch, pistol. Ledger, watch, pistol, what? Examine empty bottle. Uh, is this significant? Is this important? Kentucky bourbon, okay. Thank you. 
Was there... No? Okay. Nothing here. Family Daguero type. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. <clears throat> like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Okay. indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. So this is Jeremiah. Why are we hearing Jeremiah's voice saying all of this since everything that's been written here is from different people? That's kind of weird. It's like he is narrating in my head for some reason. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Oh, did he hit on hard times? I should have flipped. Oh, I can do this. Oh, it's still running. Look at that. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Okay. Premium cigarettes. Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Hmm. This is actually kind of gripping. Um they're they're doing a hell of a hell of a job of na narrating this but i just yeah it's effectful but it doesn't make any sense either <gasps> Okay, so I went through there, I went through there, okay. Let's go up to the uh, second floor. No, okay. wait. Okay, where is all this old crap? Oh, we can actually go up to the second floor. The stairs have sort of collapsed. Alright. Wait, is somebody up there? Did you guys hear that? I 
thought I heard movement from the second floor. It's probably, probably like super tragic, like he, ki he finally killed himself or something. Paw, God damn it! Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck. None of us want nothing to do with you. France. Oh, did he lose his old family? Looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! Son of a bitch! Ah! pistol. Wait. Where could we do that? Oh, that one! Uh, okay. That'll be the pistol. Oh, that was one of the things... Okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. complaints from customers and fellow employees alike we must terminate your employment there's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company damn this took a this took a dark and sad turn tragic turn Alright, um, I guess we'll check the trap door. Oh, we need to shoot open the lock? No, we can do this. Okay. as well, right? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's a diary here. Let's check that first. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. Oh, that was it? There was no, like... Yeah, I can't turn the page or anything. That was... That was pretty much it. $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Oh. Negroes recovered in 1856. He was, he was a slave hunter. Like one of those people who, like, captured runaway slaves, I guess. Minnie and Child. Turn the items to comps and... Oh, wait, that was the guy that we found at... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. That was the guy we found... Wasn't that the guy that that was, like, asleep in uh, outside Rhodes train station? I could be off now, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, this was a little bit heavy, I have to say. Did he... Like, it started out with such, like, happy memories, and then, like, it just went dark. Did... I wonder if he, like, turned to slave hunting because he got fired from the railroad and from the plantation and whatnot. Let me just check the well here real quick. There's actually a ladder. You can go down the well, can you? You can! Maybe this is too quick, though. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, you know... I don't know. I don't know why I'm going down here. But if I can, why not... Oh, a coin. Worth 25 cents. What was that? Another coin? Yeah. Oh, 
even more coins. Uh, there's some scratching here. Somebody's been counting off the days. There's no skeleton down here, is it? Huh. What does this say? Can't actually see. No, it doesn't say anything. Alright, never mind. I was thinking if, you know, somebody fell down here and, you know, got trapped. I did find coins, though. that much. Let's go, boy. All right, let's turn in the uh, quest and uh, the quest. Uh, let's turn in the uh, mission and we'll. No, wait. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's not too far away. I can basically ride through here. I don't actually, actually, I don't need, I don't need um, a waypoint for that. I don't remember getting this mission, but yeah. Got about us. They needed us, they threw us away like shit on their boot. I'm, times was perfect. I ain't saying that it's just Okay, I wanna hear what he's mumbling about. It's all it's all going to hell. Rack and ruin. <laughs> Okay. I guess that's it. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? Thanks. Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. Yeah, I get it. Okay, he's blaming the Union for taking away his job as a slave hunter. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing What are off. you doing? That's, that's my history! Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh. <laughs> 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 
The Iniquities of History 2. While looking for Jeremiah Compson's possessions inside his family home, the truth of his situation becomes clear. <laughs> yeah. I could probably shoot him now. Take him out of his misery. Farty's like, yes, yes, do it, do it. What? You said no? Really? Let him live. Oh? Why? I mean, yes, I'm going to. I was going to do that anyway, but why? Let him suffer. <laughs> You're so evil. Uh, yeah. Though I don't think I'm going to get... I don't think I'm going to get or lose uh, morality points for that. It doesn't look like it anyway. Oh yeah, horse funds. Okay. Wait, what? Another letter has arrived for me? Okay, there is a letter. You can clearly see it here now. Oh, that's the one that I saw before. Okay, I need to see. I, I need to check that out. There is a letter there for me. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're... Hell no, we're not wrapping this up until I see what is in that letter. Oh, I got... I did get morality points now. I, get, I got morality points for let, letting him live, apparently. So your, your reasoning was slightly off there. <laughs> no, not you again, fucker! <laughs> Fucking I hate those Lemoyne Raiders. Fucking confederate scum. Yeah, we're drifting horses. Yeah, we are. It's actually an ability I managed to unlock. Like this. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, I need to, I need to actually get some speed. Like this. Like this. Yeah. Like. <laughs> it's a reward for bonding your horse to level four. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, no, wait. Let me see if I can do it again. Ah, uh, I don't remember. I was supposed to be able to do. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I know that, but I'm supposed to be able to slide as well. I don't remember how to slide, to be honest. Oh, wait. That's how you do it. That's how you drift with the horse. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there you go. I think I can also rear the horse. Although I don't remember how to do that. Oh my god, I'm backing up the horse! Beep! Okay. I was supposed to be able to rear as well. Not sure if I remember how to do that. 
Wait, we might actually be able to see it. Uh, help. So was this for no, forever with us? Well, it's one of the horses that are, that will stay with us. Uh, horse. Here we go. Bonding. Horse care. Saddling, feeding, certain bonding, there you go, okay. At bonding level 2, hold R1 and tap square when stationary to rear. Uh, R1 and, t okay. Let's try it out. Let's do the, uh, the, um, what was the, what was his name? Hi ho, silver! Away! What was he called? The masked, the the masked stranger, or something like that. Okay, here we go. Lone Ranger. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, let, give me that le last letter and then yeah. Yeah, Red Fortune. Speaking of horses, Red Ho Red Fortune has been with us for for quite some time now. What do you think, guys? Should we eventually switch it out, or yeah, sure. Should I uh, should I switch horse? We got Red Fortune. We've got. Uh, Shadow, we've got Caesar. I think I sold Texas. I got rid of Texas. Margarine died on us. Red Fortune actually replaced Margarine. Uh, poor Margarine, rest in peace. Or we'll just stay with Red Fortune, why not? We're at level 4 with, with him anyway. Yeah, I am gotten. Yeah. Git. Yeah, I'm gotten. Okay, <laughs> it's cool. The Lone Ranger wasn't he like America's response to Zorro? Like the American Zorro or something. Mr. Morgan, to what do we owe the pleasure? <laughs> IDK. Party. So up now. You did real good, boy. There we go. How you doing, boy? All right, give me that letter. Oh. I thought you'd run off to join the circus. Huh? Circus? No. You worried your mother half to death. Uh, I was fine. Really, I was. I ate spaghetti. What? Oh, it's Italian food. It's... I don't know how to explain. Was it nice? Yeah, really nice. And the people? They were nice, too. Everything was very... well, different. I slept in a bed in a room. Like a cage? No, no, no. More like a palace oh. in a story. How nice for you. Our little prince. <laughs> <laughs> Boys got used to fine living now, Arthur. Yeah. What could be finer than a 
Home in a swamp surrounded by alligators. Very true. Well, little prince, tomorrow we begin reading again. <laughs> oh, he didn't want to hear that, apparently. You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, oh, Driscoll's, Pinkerton's. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. All right, give me the letter. Oh, can I talk to you a second? What sure. can can it wait? I'm just so worried about Karen Arthur. Karen. Why? You know why? She's gonna kill herself when she hits the liquor. Sure, but but I guess that's her choice. I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try to. But we both know it won't work. Well, then what's the point? Why do you bother? Oh, the letter is actually upstairs. In my room. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in my room right now, apparently. Okay, let's talk to Karen. She, we might as well do that. She's sitting out here. Mr. Morgan? Always good to see you. Wait, was that it? Take it easy on the bottle today. Oh, Who there are you, go. you my pa? I'm just looking out for you. Whatever you say. Oh, are we, like, supposed to keep pushing? Yeah, apparently. Alright, let's go up. Oh, here it is. I didn't see it before. Okay. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand <sighs> Jamie's thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. All right, well... I guess that mystery is going to have to wait until tomorrow, but, uh, interesting. Where was she staying? Uh, Hotel Grand. Okay. Where is that? Let me see. We must have gotten another marker, right? Yeah, Mary. There you go. Okay, Mary needs to speak to you. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. What was this one? Charles Chatonet? Okay. Uh, yeah, we will continue this tomorrow. Um, companion? Wait, companion? Who's my companion? The 
Are you talking about the health cure? I don't know. Um... Wait, I have, I can, potent health cure, I can't, you can't carry any more of this item, really, apparently I can, because it says potent health cure 2 of 7, but okay, I'll drink that one, and then I'll take this one. I guess. Was that the... Yeah, that was the companion. Why was there... Okay. I'm not gonna try to... Oh, fire bottle. Okay. No, let's... Um, yeah, let's get some rest here. And... Uh, we can actually save here. Right now, why not? Um, do, 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 do. Save El Gamo. Yes. <laughs> Fatherhood and other dreams. Fatherhood and okay, so yeah, that started started that chain. I gotcha. Okay. Very well. Okay. Well, guys, that is uh, it for tonight. Um, and uh, I will continue this tomorrow. Hopefully, Fartknocker will be able to stay with us and, and, and you know, be around tomorrow as well. That would be awesome. Uh, at any rate, it's been a pleasure. Ah, this guy! This guy! <laughs> if you want to, you are always welcome to check out my Discord, which is reachable through that link. That is where you'll always be able to get the latest news and updates regarding my channel. Also, if you want to, you can also check out my Retro Progression list, which is reachable through that link. And that is where you'll be able to check out my progression with the old Nintendo Retro games that we are doing every so often. Uh, yes, so tomorrow I will be streaming once more. This week I'm a little bit uncertain with Friday because Friday I am having a friend over and we might actually have some kind of movie night going and also well, prepare for the party that takes place the day after, so. It's gonna be swell. Birthday party. Woohoo! Um, haven't had uh, people here for that in, like, I don't know, four years now. It's gonna be interesting. At any rate, I hope you take care of each other. Um, and, uh, hope to see you tomorrow again. Farty, have a great day at work tomorrow if you're going. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow 100%. Eh? Elder, thank you for showing up. Medi, you too. And uh, anybody else, take care. Remember to mind social distance and always keep the retro legacy alive. This is Eagle Byte 83 wishing you the best. Take care, good night, and goodbye.